<laughs> Welcome to the Trinet Division G unboxing of the new Xbox 360 uh, that Microsoft unveiled during their uh, keynote speech at E3. And we picked it up from Best Buy actually, so it's already in store, so you can run out and grab one as well. What we're going to do, we're going to open it up, take a look at the unit. We've got an old Xbox here that uh, we'll give it a comparison to and see how everything stacks up, what they've changed, what's better, what's potentially worse. So without further ado, let's get started. By the way, this is Wayne. Jack, I'm just looking at the shiny new uh, Xbox here. So packaging so far is looking pretty similar aside from a slightly redesigned box. But if we open it up, we'll see we've got our uh, manuals as always, or start here, you know, user guides as always. Got some uh, newfangled foam, unlike the uh, the white, like more open open foam. This is nice, tight yeah, black stuff. That's right. Cool looking. A nice open ventilation design, cool uh, angled accents on the side. I don't know if you can really catch that. And we see the unit itself. We've got our same old uh, safety sticker, like always. And see a nice, much cleaner front face here. As we can see, we don't have like the uh, old memory card ports or anything like that, so it's nice and so that allowed them to shrink some things. We flip a little door just like always and we got our two USB ports and then our uh, wireless sync button is just kind of built in right next to the USB door. On the bottom here we see we've got a small little area here that we can open up and this is actually where we'll find the built-in 250 gig hard drive here. It's in a cool little case, so it's actually kind of bad. Not bad, you know, you could... It's a SATA drive, so... Yeah. Direct SATA connectors, no more uh, retrofitted port, or no more proprietary port like we see on the old Xbox, obviously. Big, huge difference there. Just using what they need to with the hard drive. So, pop that guy back in. And this is, by the way, built in and 250 gig. Uh, so we're seeing that on the PlayStation and we've been seeing it on the limited edition Xbox consoles, you know, Final Fantasy and Call of Duty consoles, things like that. So push this guy back in. And we've got built-in rubber feet here on the bottom, nice big long ones that elongate the entire sides there and like just the four little pads like we saw before. So it's got a nice stable side and we do see the small little pads on the bottom, so we still have the dual operating mode options, so that hasn't gone away, which is nice. Uh, so let's take a look at the back here, new por ports on the new unit. We've got our power plug, which is uh, substantially smaller, it's not the huge, uh, you know, six-sided or seven-sided structure that it once was. Built-in optical out, which is a plus, I know we always, we always buy you get an HDMI cable and you need to buy the optical out adapter and this and that, but nice to see that that's built in. Again, we've got the HDMI built in. Classic AV out port. Here we've got a built in 10100 Ethernet port so you can still run it wired. And on the back we see three USB ports and a port here labeled AUX with a nice little orange label above it. That is actually going to be your, uh, from what we've read, dedicated port for the upcoming Connect accessory uh, coming out in November. So apparently this this one port here will power the Connect and you know for power and data whereas these USB ports on your legacy consoles will require a separate power cable to the Connect in order to make that happen. So that's the unit. Uh, we see yeah. the accessories themselves the side component. Power brick, nice slick black, much smaller 
the cable going to it is smaller and much more flexible and it's built in, uh, but we still have the secondary power cable that we do plug in there. Take a quick... Thanks for that. Yeah, and it's not a standard... Yeah, just like the old one. Yeah. yeah, it's the same plug as the old one, mm -hmm. but not a standard three-prong. No, not like so a So you do need a special cable yeah. for it. So if we take a quick look at the two, we see we've got a big reduction in size between there. Cable-wise and all that, we're looking at about the same, aside from the connector, which is just, just a uh, two-prong. It looks like two AC adapters for your laptop, actually. <laughs> yep. Built in there. But uh, size-wise, we're looking at the same. We still have our status light on there, so we know if it's getting power, if it's powered on, whatever. As that. So let's take a quick look at the uh, comparison between the old and the new. Get this out of the way. Get it view. So here we've got the old guy and here's the new one. Let's put them right side by side. And we see we've definitely got a height advantage here of about two inch, an inch or two with uh, depth or length as you, however you want to refer to it is uh, pretty much equal. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. I mean this, the new one does slim up a little bit but uh, at their widest points they're, the, the new one's actually a touch larger in that regard. And width is about the same. Yep. And then on the uh, front panel, instead of the actual push buttons, we have touch controls. Yep. And here again, we've got the USB ports. Two down there. But the one thing you notice is missing is your memory card ports. Yeah, they don't have the uh, the old style memory cards anymore. This uh, now that. You know, a few months ago they announced that they, they support USB drives up to 16 gig, so they've just totally adopted that on the new console, which is fine with, you know, more, it has two more USB ports than the old console had, so that's just nice. Yeah, so if you're going, if you're looking to replace your current Xbox with the new, then you just need to plug your USB memory stick in your old one, migrate your profile, and save games over to that, and then it'll work on the new one. Yeah. Um, but with the new one having the internal hard drive, Different you can't yeah, yeah you can't swap hard drives anymore. So for actual downloaded content uh, for your games demos, that you still need to use the uh, the hard drive transfer kit to yeah. be able to do that. They may come out with the one specifically for the new one. Uh, we see it's in a small little case, so they may make something a little dock or something like that, perhaps. But uh, as of yet, we have we don't see a way to get all your 120 gig of data from this guy onto the onto the new console yet. Demos and you know downloadable content. If you had map packs or anything, yeah. those those could be bigger than what you see. So there's no yeah there's no change software wise you know you're still going to have the nxe the new xbox experience dashboard and all that stuff last fm facebook twitter netflix pin you know and of course you can plug an ipod or a zune into it and just the same as we've always been able to since day one so no change there as far as backwards compatibility as well has remained you know there's no architecture or software changes really just cosmetic and then some nice tuning down on the the core you know, hardware. So, it's good. So come by uh, Division G at our next gaming party and uh, you can check it out, take a look. And, uh, losing, losing Halo. Or yeah. Unless, unless and you as play, soon as we get it yeah. connect, we'll shoot a video yeah. on that too. Unless you play Jimmy, then. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you win. <laughs> yeah. And it's always domination. Yeah, yeah. Always domination. it's good. <laughs> Thanks very much, and don't forget the division-g.com, division-g.com, and find us on Twitter at division underscore g. So uh, take a check it out. Good. Talk to you Good. soon. See you.